Hey family, it's Lady Nadra here. Posing for a thumbnail. <laughs> this video, I, I meant to put it up and I don't know what happened. It should have gone up like before my last video went up. So anyway, just, you know, know it's out of sequence, but it's still a good video. And, um, you know, I just got a few little things to share with you. I got this little cute bag from Ego. And um, it's a dupe for the Bottega Veneta um, pouch. So, I mean, I haven't really been doing that much shopping. But I plan on doing... Actually, I have been shopping. But the things that I have, I'm going to put in another video. I think I got... You'll see. You'll see what I got um, or what I tried on. You'll see those things in this video. Just keep watching, all right? First, and if it's your first time here, uh, um, just don't forget to, you know, if you like the video, like it, subscribe, comment, share, all those good things. And um, keep watching. Hey, y'all. I'm um, bleaching my hair. And um, after I bleach it, my plan, because it's October, is to um, dye my hair pink. And so I said I was going to do this. I said I was going to do it last year, and I let the month get away from me. But October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And so I want to rep with pink hair. However... I hope it looks right. <laughs> if it don't look right, I ain't wearing it. But I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> I would like to represent. So, I'm bleaching. I have probably about 10, 15 more minutes with the bleach on. Um, the color that I'm using is a direct dye, so I won't need any developer or anything like that. Um, I'll just put it on. It is a pastel color, so... I really just want it to be like, you know, a hint of pink, very light, faint pastel pink, but, you know, hair color don't always just cooperate the way you want it to, so. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, I don't have much yellow in my hair when I um, wash out my bleach, and that... If it's if it's white enough, then the pink will grab. And um, once I put it in the bowl, then I'll see how exactly how pink it is, and um, that'll let me know how long I need to leave it on. So, y'all pray this works out. Okay, as you can see, I came up pretty white, and I don't really see. I kind of. Look for some yellow. I don't really see any yellow in there. So it's pretty white. And it's pink. That's the pastel pink. Um, and I, I'm sure it's going to come out much lighter than that. I don't think it's going to be that true. And so um, I'm going to put this on. And... Let's see. Yeah, just looking at how it's going on, it's probably not going to come on as true as um, it's looking in this bowl. And so I'm just going to apply this to the rest of my hair. And then, um, hmm, I don't know how long I'm going to leave it on. Probably about 20 minutes or so. See how pink I get. If it's too pink, then I may wash it a couple times <laughs> with some clarifying shampoo and see if I can get some of it off. Um, if it's too pink, but I don't think it's gonna be that pink. I don't think this is gonna grab like that. Which, if it doesn't, that would be great because I don't want it to. I want it to just be a hint of pink. All right, y'all. Um, in the light, this light right here, it looks fine, but it's a little too pink for me. And I've shampooed it twice. 
with um, with a clarifying shampoo, but it's a little too patchy and a little too pink for me. So I tried. Okay, sorry for the light, but today's outfit is just this white oversized shirt I got from, from H and M. I got I'm wearing my Fendi first bag, but let me put it down. This light is tripping today. Um, thought about putting on. I'm gonna try my my. Mm, I don't know. This is what I had in mind today to wear, and I'm not super super excited about it, but um. I got these jeans from, uh, I think I ordered them from Fashion Bomb Daily, and they're ripped in front and in, in the back, all the way down to the bottom. I have my Balenciaga um, shoes on, um, and I'm not sure if I want to wear these or these little black mesh pumps I have, these knockoff um, the, the knockoffs to the Bottega dupes. But anyway, um, because I'm gonna have to keep pulling this shirt back, I'm trying to figure out if I want to put my little Abe belt on. <laughs> I'm just, I mean, um, anyway, um, arm candy. I got my Dior on this arm with my watch today. Um, my Monica Venator open face is in there too. Um, so it's a good chunky gold arm with my fancy couture ring. And that's that on that hand. On this one I have this Balenciaga cuff. And I love this cuff. Oh, that's that's my new tattoo. It says rare. It's upside down. It says rare because that's what my name means in Arabic. Um and I have my Fendi my Fendi ring on and then my Monica Venator um, stack right there on that hand and then this lariat is from um, St. Moran it has my name Nadra they did it custom and then I put on a necklet you guys know I, I love that necklet I put on a necklet two Samantha chains from Melinda Maria okay so let me Make sure you can see my name. Yeah. So that's my look for today. Um, I really don't. I didn't put any lipstick on. That's just liner. Hmm. I need to go put some lipstick on. Maybe I should come back and show you guys my finished look when I figure out exactly where I'm going with this. So we're out here in um, L.A. And we're going to Coffee Company. Um, Mark has a, um, oh, they have a gym. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mark had, Mark is uh, doing a revival out here this weekend, so they put us up at the Marriott, um, by the, the airport. And so we are, we have a poolside room with no pool gear, <laughs> but we do have a poolside room and we are, um, Morgan's taking us to a place that she she frequents a um, coffee company. She says it's really good, so we'll see. She got cold, so now she got on. Let me show you. Speed around. She just and took over my whole uh, oh. my shoes. You got my shoes. You're gonna have to get them shoes back. Them my favorite shoes. I don't have another black pair. Those share. are the ones I wear all the time. Mm -hmm. We can share. We can't share if you got them. <laughs> then she got my shirt on, which she's never going to keep. She offered. I now, did. Now. I did let you wear the shirt. She offered this and headband, the headband and the shirt. I gave her the headband. Oh, Hi. sorry. I'm going up or down? I'm down. Or no. down. Up. Up. We're down. This uh, is down. This is down? down? Okay. Oh, y'all can go down again? Yeah. She's borrowing the shirt for sure. I gave her the headband and she's borrowing the hat, the backpack. 
somehow borrows turn into. I mean, I just borrow until I'm asked to return. Mm. You know? What kind of foolery is that? Where they do that at? You know? We are going to one of our favorite spots. It's my favorite spot. <laughs> it's my favorite spot. <laughs> but what's my favorite is your favorite. No. It's okay. I like it. I'm coming here because it's your favorite spot. Okay. I'm to bring you to your favorite spot. Okay. Off Street Cafe. I think it's the, the nostalgia. It is the nostalgia. When I was in uh, Cerritos College, we used to come up here and have breakfast. And so, um, we just always come here. Right, right. It's on, still on our way from LA. Yeah. It's a good little spot in Cerritos. Right across the street from Gar High School. Well, we can't see it from over here. But it's been here for years. Off Street Cafe. Good morning. It is Saturday. And I'm on my way to do my mom's hair. <laughs> Saturday, my Saturday run. Um, so I'm packing up some stuff for her um, that she'll need for, you know, I'm like taking some of the winter stuff out of her room. I mean, the summer stuff out of her closet and um, trying to prepare her for the fall so things like I have a um, a wool scarf that I had purchased for her and um, sorry I'm moving around a lot I'm trying to get out of here so I can get back get done um, yeah but I have this scarf I have some earrings I got some perfume this is the Dolce & Gabbana red cap and I got her some these are some Monica vinegar um, little hoops hopefully she'll keep them in and I got her this also this uh, wool scarf to put around her neck she had a coat because she's always cold so she had a coat and I'm looking in this closet upstairs where I have her clothes and I don't see the coat so I don't know I'm gonna look downstairs hopefully it's there and um, yeah on my way to get her together I gotta do her hair I think I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna have to wash it today and um, Possibly color. I got the kid with me. Praise the Lord. <laughs> she came off the road. The road. <laughs> to hang with her mom a little bit this morning. <laughs> well, you were, she was performing last night. Yes. Was that last weekend? Was Stevie last weekend? Yes. See? I think. I don't know. It's all running in together. It's one big day since like August. Mm-hmm. So, anyway. She's not busy today yet. <laughs> and, uh, so I stole her for a little while. <laughs> That's your baby? That's your baby? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's gonna be a 
Okay. You're gonna look pretty in a minute. You're gonna look pretty in a minute. Okay. Good morning. It is Sunday and I'm headed to church. Today's outfit is um I got my my um Gucci Marmot wallet on the chain and I have I'm feeling really old school <laughs> old school vibes with this outfit. It's from Farm. Um I don't think it's Farm Rio. It just says Farm in the tag, but um it's from Farm and I got it from Nordstrom. Um, it's a, I'm, I'm dying for it to be, I'm probably going to burn up today, but I'm dying for it to be fall. <laughs> so this is my, um, my tribute to fall, uh, the, the, the brink of fall, right? Um, so this outfit, it reminds me of that old school, uh, Kooji. Anybody remember Kooji? It reminds me of a Kooji outfit, but anyway, this is, um, uh definitely a sweater material um cord it's got this drawstring um it's got elastic in the waist and this drawstring but i mean the elastic does the trick the i think the drawstring is just the de decor anyway um have that on of course i have my my uh, jbw and monica vinegar vinegar and Dior on this arm. Um, pretty much standard. I have my F is for Fendi um, black hoops on today. Um, in terms of makeup, I have on, um, let's see, my Fenty Pro Filter foundation with um, my, I, I use a lot, uh, most of the Fenty products for my face. Um, Fenty concealer. I have on Lily Lashes in the style Miami. Um, I think these are Miami. These seem kind of long, so they may not be Miami. If they're not, then I'll put on the screen what they are. Um, I have on the Fenty uh, Mocha um, contour for my eyes, which is pretty standard. I wear it on my uh, my cheeks as well, which I don't put a lot of stuff on you guys on my face. So if you can't see it, but it's there. That's what it, if you, if you do see it, that's what it is. Um, so in my crease and right in here is the, the mocha, can't think of the name of it. Mocha something anywhere. Anyway, it's the, the contour compact. And then I have on, um, a Fenty. I put the name on the screen, but it's, on my lid it's actually a highlighter I have it on my lid and on my cheeks and the tip of my nose and my lip is um, Mac uh, liner I have that pretty much all over my lip let me get closer pretty much all over my lip and then I have on chocolate raspberry I'm taking look we throwing it back with the Kooji so we're gonna throw it back with the uh, chocolate raspberry Lipstick from Fashion Fair. If that ain't old school, <laughs> I don't know what it is. All right, and then my shoes are my Bottega Veneta or Veneta, however you say it, Bottega Veneta um, mesh mules with the chain on them. So that's today's look. Um, Today's fragrance I have on Byredo Baldi Afrique and kind of a subtle, since I have this sweater on, I didn't want to, you know, put a whole bunch of perfume on because I don't know, it kind of seems to absorb my fragrance in my mind anyway. That's what happens. So that's what it is today. All right. I'm not sure what shades. I probably wear my... Um, Victoria Beckham shades today. They have the brown tones in them. Let me get them. Let me get them so I can show them to you. Okay. So these are the shades for today. These are, I think they're like a butterfly lens or something they're called. But these are my Victoria Beckham. Alright. Full outfit for today. gotta pop your hip out when you take these pictures when you <laughs> video like that give me a little uh a little hip on the side i don't have hips so 
Gotta give me a little hit. <laughs> so we're out here with Evan. Hi. We're celebrating because he got baptized today. Yeah. Refreshed, renewed. How you feel? <coughs> Smarter. Smarter. All right. All right. <laughs> There's Daddy, Mommy, and Daddy, and big sisters. <laughs> wow, got a box in. I believe this is from. Oh, oh, Skims. That's my Skims. Uh, let's see. So I got the Sleep Henley dress, Jasper in extra large. I got the Soft Lounge button up Hen Hen Hensley Henley onesie teal in a size 2X. Did I order a 2X? And the Sleep Hen Henley dress. And Coco in extra large. I don't even remember what I ordered down here. <laughs> just open it. So, for those of you guys who have never ordered from them, it comes. Your order comes wrapped in this with a piece of tape on the front, and then you got your pieces. So I got. Three pieces. I think that two X is going to be too big. Uh, who told me to do that? Oh, but it's pretty. So this is, oh yeah, that's going to be too big. That's the two X. It's going to be too big. And the reason I know that is because I bought a black one in store at Nordstrom and it's a large, not a 1X, but a large. And if it's, I mean, a little, like I could get a 1X. A 1X would do me good. But this 2X with the washes <laughs> and hot. <laughs> See what happens. Um, this, you guys, is super comfortable. I have this already in like a, like this color. This is the dress one. And it's, um, stuff is just super soft. Like, I could just be in it all the time, to be honest. And then, I got this one. Oh, so I got the same dress in this color. So now I have total of three of these. The other one I have is lighter, uh, a lighter color. This is more flesh tone. And then this other one is deeper. But this, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna be too big, but it's just a lounger, you know, just to be around here in so but I want it to fit nice because pastor likes this kind of stuff <laughs> when I put that black one on he was like hey walk back this way <laughs> I also got these things in today um earwax removers and they are by oh dang it let me see if I can open one and figure, find out the name of the place that you order from. Um, anyway, they look like this. I have one open. Oh, I'm gonna have to pop it on the screen, guys, because I can't. Earwax removers. And the premise is for you not to stick a Q-tip in your ear, but use this can you guys see that so you stick this in your ear and it's it's rubber so it's like you know pliable and it's soft so it's not gonna hurt you 
but you stick this in your ear and you just twist. And if you're somebody that collects a lot of earwax, it actually comes out, like screws out almost in one piece. That's how they showed it on the commercial. I don't have wax like that, a wax buildup, but the reason I bought these, um, Mark does, he, he can't stick a Q-tip. I can stick a Q-tip in my ear and clean my ear, but the reason I don't want to do that anymore is because I, um, this commercial, they stated that um, there was a, a connection between earwax or buildup of earwax and dementia. And you guys know my mom has dementia, so I don't need, I don't need no help. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. So I'm here early. I forgot the mall don't open till 11. So most of the stores are not even open yet. I think Zara might be open though. I'm going to see if they're open. And I think Nordstrom is open, which is where I came to go. So by the time I do that, the rest of the store should be open. See, it's just me. A few other people. Well, Zara is not open. And there's already a line formed to get in the store. What? Let me see. Maybe they open at 10 30. Is Zara open at 10 30? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. It's almost 10 30. I can wait. Okay, you guys, if you know me, you know I don't like elevators, but this one is pretty cool because it's all glass or all, uh, you know, see through. <laughs> I can see everything and everybody can see me if I get stuck. So I went um, trying on boots. I went to Prada over there and they don't have the boot that I wanted. Um, they said it was a runway piece and uh, they didn't get very many of them. And then, you know, it's always tricky because my size you never find nothing in my size, especially in store. I have to order it, pay for it, order it in order to even try it on. So that was a no go. And then I went into Bottega Veneta. Um, hi. <laughs> I love how they're staring at me. I went to Bottega Veneta um, and tried on the you know, the big chunky boot with the color at the bottom. I was looking for the either the green one or, um, they had the green, the peach, and then like the, it's like a blue. Um, I tried on the blue and a 40 and a half and I definitely need a 41. So that was a bust. I'm gonna go into um, Balenciaga and see if they have that. It's, I think it's called the, the Pandora or Panda. Um, it's not a boot, it's actually a tennis shoe, but if they have it, I just wanna try it on. See what it looks like. You know, I'm just chilling today, so I got time for it. <laughs> So I went to um, Nordstrom and got my mom's pajamas and I got her an outfit for Sunday. And um, I was getting ready to go up there and drop off the pajamas, but I'm gonna wait. Um, Kathy went up there earlier today. I'm gonna wait and go tomorrow morning. I just called them and they said she's up and walking around and stuff. Her nose is still runny. Um, she still has the cough, but they talked to the doctor and the doctor's going to prescribe her some medication. So they've done a, um, the rapid COVID test and it was negative. They'll do it again tomorrow um, because she's had symptoms for three days. And so um, they'll do it again tomorrow. And... Um, 
go from there. So I'm not going to go up there today. Um, <coughs> she's walking around. That means she's feeling okay. We're over here at our storage garage. And, um, you taking it from the Yeah, I'm going to take that back with me. But there's some more stuff that I'm looking for, so I need to get in, the, in those other okay. okay, I will. Um... <laughs> So the guys are over here and they are helping organize this garage. don't go as far as we thought, huh? <laughs> so we got to notice that we cannot um, use our storage garage for storage. So, um, from my parents' house over here. So we were definitely storing. Um, Mark's golf stuff and, and then that table, I don't know if you can see that table right there. It's an antique piece that came from my great uncle's wife, my great aunt. And it was an antique when she got it. So that's, I wanna keep it. Um, it's a beautiful piece. This is the leaf to it. But if you can see, I mean, it's really pretty. It has some some pretty, um, I don't know what to call it, but it's some pretty inner workings and stuff on the, on the top of it. So I wanted to keep that. And then I got my Christmas decor and um, which I'm putting that up. Um, up top because I'll need it the next month <laughs> and my um, suitcases and here are the chairs I don't really have to keep the chairs but Jalen wants to keep the chairs because he said he might want them and over here we got to get all this other stuff out of the this is all going away so nobody said they wanted it so it's so nobody gets into my little Halloween decor like me nobody in my family i should say gets into my halloween decor like me but while we were over in the storage unit i found some of my stuff look i got i got my good stuff like look at isn't that cute i'm gonna put that right here and this little hand i got some cute things um i got a few of those Got these, all this stuff here. I normally decorate out here real cute and take all this summer stuff um, out. And I just put my little pumpkins in my um, my little jar there. I feel like I'm gonna go back over to the storage because I feel like I have some pillows. I'm sure I've gotten pillows and stuff from last year. Or glitter on my face. I'm sure I got glitter. I mean, I'm sure I got some stuff for my couch. So I'm gonna go back and get um, that out of my tree bag. So I think that's where I put them last year. Hey y'all, so today is one of those days where, you know, just thank God that I'm clean. <laughs> really, I didn't care what I threw out. I pulled, it, got, pulled this sweatshirt out from, uh, I got this, I wanna say a Z Gallery. I mean, I'm sorry. See, I'm not with it today. I got this at Zara. Z. I had Z on my mind. Zara and these pants. Um, I got them when I went to New York. Uh, mm, 
few years ago. They are from Macy's and they are Adidas. Yeah, there we go. Adidas um, got the little stripe on the side. They had a, a top to them, but I think I gave it to Morgan. Um, I have on my Balenciaga, Balenciaga expanders. Um, people were asking me, are they comfortable? They're, they're really comfortable, surprisingly. Um, I don't know if this on the back, it doesn't spring too much. Um, that little piece on the bottom, it doesn't really give a lot of spring, but it does help you to roll your foot. I find relief in it from my, on my back. And then I have my Prada backpack, got my camera in my hand, put my little, um, plain hat from Zara. I like their hats because they fit my head, number one. <laughs> uh, and if you have a big head, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I love them because they don't have anything on them. You know what I'm saying? I like that. So you guys know my mom had a cold and she, um, I noticed it probably on Saturday. I noticed that she was kind of mm, sniffly. And then Sunday, by the time um, church was out, that had turned into a full cough and runny nose. And they um, let me know that she was, um, the ladies that she rides to church with, they let me know that she was coughing and stuff. So I went up there, called up there and asked them, could they give her something? And they said they could not. Um, the only thing that they could do was call the, the, doctor her doctor and put in a prescription basically and so that wouldn't happen until um see why is this light my tire light is on So the sensor is on. As long as it don't look flat to me, um, I'm gonna let Mark handle it. <laughs> so anyway, I went up there Sunday and I gave her some Robitussin, and she um, was—you could tell she wasn't really feeling good. I asked her was she feeling good. She said no. So Sunday she wasn't feeling good. Monday I went up there, I gave her some more Robitussin, and she was. Um, kind of, you know, groggy as well. Um, Tuesday, I didn't go up there, but sorry, let me get out of here. Kathy did, and um, she said she was still a little bit groggy. Um, um, they had scheduled for them to have, the, the residents of the facility to have um, their COVID booster, and a flu shot on the 13th which was wednesday yesterday and so when i got up there i just you know i talked to them i said oh yeah she they're not gonna the med tech i talked to her she said yeah they probably won't give her the um covid booster and the flu shot she's already sick you know and so yesterday um when i went up there her caregiver told me oh yeah she had her booster and her flu shot and I'm like whoa 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 <laughs> wait you know so um I went and talked to the director and she said that the pharmacist told her that it should be fine because she told her she had a few a few residents that had a cold and so um she told her it should be fine so I'm going up there today to see survey the land and see what's happening, you know, because um, I would think that you, they shouldn't get that, you know. This is always the test to see how you feel and if you start dancing when we put this music on. <laughs> yeah, you like that, huh? Uh-huh. All right. Hey, it won't let me. <laughs> what well, is it? Man, but he, he ugly, but he can sing. He can go with it.
just got back from Target and um, getting my mail and I'll show you what I got from Target. So today's visit consists of me buying, I bought a little bit more cereal. <laughs> I'm only showing you guys this stuff because um, the people that I watch on YouTube, this is the stuff they do. And I'm like, this is so stupid, but I sit there and watch it, so. Mm. Anyway, um, I got some cereal. Don't judge me, I got Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And <laughs> um, some Rice Krispie Treats. So, really, I just, I don't really eat these. I just put them in my, um, in my cabinet. And I had a couple of those empty jars, if you guys saw my uh, last vlog, I was talking about restocking my um, my cabinets and my on-the-go. Morgan eats them sometimes. Um, and then Jalen comes over and, you know, or if some kids come over or whatever, I normally have, like, some goodies or something for them. So, um, I put those in my, my cabinet just for standby. And then I bought some candy. I'll show you why I bought these. Starburst um, in a minute. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, close to Halloween. Then I bought these scents, these fragrances. This is um, mm, Caramel Latte. And I got these from Target. Mm, it's, that's what it smells like, a Caramel Latte. So, a great um, fall fragrance. And these were I want to say, oh, here we go. Oh, I lied. These were 10 bucks. Oh, I can't see. I think it says 10 bucks. So I got two of those. Um, what else did I get? From Target. Uh, I just got some milk for my cereal. I like the silk almond milk. Um, I like the sweetened one or the vanilla. Oh, and I got some socks. I like to just put these little socks on around the house, and um, I get them from Target because they normally give you these. There's like, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, probably says it on the front of the package six, seven, eight, nine, ten, but I can't see. Ten pair of socks. So, uh, yeah, I don't know how much they were, but I like that there's 10 on there. <laughs> and I'll probably go back and buy like a few more of those, you know, as time goes on because you know how you lose one sock sometimes? Um, so I got that from Target and then I got these pillows from Target. Um, got this square one and two of these, this the rectangular shape, and then one of these. And I'll show you I'll show you what I'm gonna do with these. I'm, they're gonna go on my patio, but I'll show you that in a minute. And then I also got a throw. Um, you know, all the stuff goes on my balcony. I like to, because my balcony is right off this main floor, um, I like to have, um, you know, have it looking festive out there. So I'm transferring, let me, let me just show you real quick. So I'm transitioning the summer um, colors, which I had yellow, black, and white out there. So um, I brought over some of my fall stuff. So I have some of it out there already. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna get rid of the yellow stuff. I'm gonna get rid of that little throw and those pillows and change it out. And I'll dust out here and all that kind of stuff. So I'll probably do that today. I've gotta shoot a video. So I gotta go put on a little makeup so I can do my 
fall lip colors video in a minute. And then, um, so I went to Wendy's. You guys, you can't really see it, but this salad has chicken in it. Um, I want to say cranberry or cranberries, not cranberries. Cran ra raisin, what are they called? Cran raisins. What are those? Those. I got, they have those in there. Um, oh, chicken, cheese. I'm gonna give you pecans to put in there. And then this pomegranate um, dressing. And I always ask for an extra dressing. So I got two salads. So I'll just put one in the uh, refrigerator for later. And I bought the candy to go here on my the Starburst. I put them right here on my um let me see, let me turn you guys around. Here we go. They go in this skeleton head right here. So Morgan and, and Jalen, they, they were just sitting there eating them. I see my little spider on here. <laughs> He's so cute. Uh, but yeah, so that's what the candy goes for. They were eating them up. Morgan sat there and picked out all the um all the pink ones out. So anyway, that's to restock that. And then I got a package in and I got this from Ego. And it is a bag. Like I need another bag. I need a bag like I need a hole in my head. But I saw this cute one um, on ego.com. And it's kind of like a, um, a dupe. Not a replica, but a dupe of the Bottega pouch. When I say they got it wrapped up, it's wrapped up. But I think it's, I'm gonna like it. Oh yeah. I just need to stuff it and make it look like it's doing something, but it's a pretty good little, little dupe. It's kind of like that terry cloth. I don't think it's as big as the, the regular one, but um, it's fine. It's cute. I like it. What's the inside? And it was something like, like 40 to 60, somewhere between 40 to 60 dollars. Let me put the stuffing back in it and now I'm it. Cute. Good morning. All right, today's look. I am super, super casual today. Um, I'm headed to church. Yes, <laughs> this is my fit for church. I am wearing this dress from um, H&M. It was $29.99, my kind of price. And um, I just zhuzhed it up with my normal arm candy. And um, I got my Celine shades. Let me put them on so you guys can see how they look. Uh huh. Got my Celine shades on. My little, this is my little uh, round the way look. <laughs> got my Balenciaga sneakerhead bag on with the um, expander shoes and I put a little anklet on um I gotta give me another anklet because this one is a little bit too tight um I mean it fits and stuff but I want it, I like it to be a little bit looser but anyway I'm gonna keep it on um yeah and so this is my look for today I got my LV Louise earrings on um you guys know I'm always talking about you know, you can you can judge any look up with with 
you know, nice arm candy and all that kind of stuff. So this is an example of that today. Um, accessories. Accessories. <laughs> uh, yep. So this is my look for today. I am headed to church. I got to go by the bank and get my, my tithes um, out. So I'm, I got good timing today. I don't have Morgan with me. She's out doing something. She's taking the taking the weekend off, taking it. Um, she's gone away for the weekend, so um, I'm by myself. But this is my look. Ow, 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 ow! I'm gonna stomp on the devil's head today. Since we're in LA, we decided we'd stop by Harold and Bell's. They have crawfish, etouffee, gumbo, red beans and rice, jambalaya, you know, shrimp, good stuff. All the good stuff, so. We are, uh oh. Do we have to? We in LA. Do we have to have our vaccination card? I don't know. Might yeah, have to I'm have gonna, that. Because no, <laughs> I don't have mine. You have yours. Huh? <laughs> you order it to go. <laughs> I'm not sitting in no car while you eat. You're not sitting in the car. Let me at least put my mask on. Okay. So I just left Sephora. I got some um, dark marks that I'm trying to get rid of. And so I just left Sephora. I got this, um, oh no, that's not it. I got this um, dark mark vitamin C clearly corrective dark spot solution from Kiehl's. Um, I'm gonna try that. But that's not what I went for. I went for, um, I was watching Monroe Steel. And um, let me come back to that real quick. I got Fenty Unveiled, this, which is the brown. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on my hand or not. It's a good brown. I figure it will pair well for the fall. And I got another pair of um, 
Lily Lashes in the style Miami. But um, for the dark spot corrector, I figured, um, I mean, I'm sorry, I was watching Monroe Steele and um, she um, was talking about this dark spot corrector that's by, um, ooh, these people. It's um, made by somebody, you know, it's black owned. And so um, I thought I'd give them a try, but, and she says she got it at Sephora, but it's only online. And I think it's called, I thought she said Hyped, Hyped Clear or Hype Clear, but I think it's Hyper Even. So um, I'm probably gonna still order that just so I can, you know, know for myself. <laughs> I'm that kind of person. I, I, you could tell me about it, but I'm gonna have to try it for myself in order to, you know, say actually say that um, it works and all that kind of stuff. So I'll let y'all know when I find it and try it. Or actually, I'm gonna go home and order it. I'm gonna go home and order it, and um, hopefully, it won't take too long for me to get it. Okay, so I was trying to watch YouTube on this TV. <laughs> So out of breath. <laughs> this is on this TV. Nice. This is the TV we that we had at the house, and um, I got to be a contortionist. It stopped working for a while, and then it started working. And so when we moved, we were just like, oh, "Okay, we'll just take it and get another one later, or whatever." But it's been working fine, and it works fine as long as we don't put use like the internet TV at all, um, or any of the apps and stuff like that. And so it, we, I was just trying to watch YouTube. I thought, you know, it might be all right. I'm trying to watch YouTube on here. And um, it froze. And so then I unplugged. The <laughs> I unplugged something in the back. Tag on. Sorry. I was trying to, um, what was I trying to do? You were trying, I was trying to, to unplug it to I was turn it off. Un unplug the power. Because she couldn't turn it off. And... So now we've been relegated to the task of trying to find a little opening. And it's we a can't, USB. We can feel it, but we it's hard to get it, it in there because you have to push hard. I think. So you got to twist your whole body. Oh, am I not pushing hard? Push. Because it was hard to pull out. Okay, maybe so that's what I'm push. not doing. Okay, so maybe I did. I did have. Let me just push harder. But we're trying to do all this before. Mark realizes that the TV don't work. Maybe we can get it to work again. And just not watch it too. Now I need to turn the fan on because it's hot. Oh my God. Am I even, is it even in there? Are you sure this is where it goes? Uh-huh. It's a U, doesn't it feel like a USB when you rub, run your finger across it? See, she's not sure. She's not even sure. <laughs> That's why we're breathing so hard. She's not sure. It's one of the, it's, it should be right there. Yeah, I guess. Not the side though? Uh-uh, it's not the side. It came from underneath. Oh, but well, there's more down here. Nadra. <laughs> oh my God. How do you know it's the first one? She's not even sure. I'm not it. sure if it's the first one, but it felt like the first one. Let me go over. That's probably the issue. This is ridiculous. Uh, okay, I don't know what I feel. I feel a whole bunch of stuff back here. I'm just but the other ones don't feel like USBs. In the back, over here, not the side. There's more. There's more. Okay, so I got the TV back on. <laughs> and we had to call Jay Jalen over to come and um, help us pull it pull it out but Mark came home and we just got to get a new TV that's all bottom line all right I hope you guys like this video I hope you I mean you know I put a little work into my videos I try anyway um, I do all my own editing and stuff like that so I'm trying to try to you know represent <laughs> in the YouTube game you know what I'm saying oh 
listen you guys I want to tell you about this app called clear clear um, will allow you to upload your vaccination card and um, not only upload it you'll, you'll let's see it'll be digital you know they what they had me do was I had to scan my driver's license I had to scan my face um, as well as my vaccine card and then they they had to kind of do a match in order for it to be you know an authentic version of the, the vaccination card so download clear on your phone I have an iPhone I'm sure they have enough for the Androids too boo Android but <laughs> um, I have an iPhone and I just you know got it from the app store and followed the prompts it's really easy all right you're welcome <laughs> leave me a thumbs up guys if you like this video and I hope to see you in the next one don't forget to follow me on Instagram all right Wow.